Man, this smells so good already. Welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Kim, and today we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook the bluefish chowder. First things first, let's check out some of these bluefish we caught in shore. Got one. I'm gonna get him out of that. Oh, nice big blue. Oh man, I'm, I'm keeping him if I can get him in. There we go. 17 inch blue to the fork. Um, you know, I've been telling you guys that uh, Kim was gonna make that bluefish chowder and she finally did. And it was freaking delicious. We will definitely do a catch and cook. Uh, so, you know, share that with you guys. But, um, you know, I'll keep these for the next uh, chowder. Here we go again. Got him. Got him this time. We got him. Oh man, I've got that line. That's so another blue. Got him in. There we go. Man, that's a thick sucker. Now Chris is going to take those blue fish to the fillet table and I'll meet you right back in here in the kitchen. All right, welcome to the fillet table. We got these uh, two blue fish here. And I'm gonna show you how we fillet those up real quick. Um, it's usually really easy. They're kind of like uh, mackerel fillets. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of cutting and slicing. It's just a quick whoosh. And um, uh, so we're gonna do that real quick. And uh, you know, we don't uh, bleed the bluefish because we cut the entire bloodline out. I'll show you how we do that. So let's get to it. This is a big fat sucker. You just make uh, one cut right there, right behind the fin, towards the, the head here. And then you'll feel like the backbone there. Then you just turn the knife and grab the head and work your way down to the tail. Fully is that easy. And then Do your saw back and forth. That rib bone. Then see it's got a nice thick blood line. We just cut out the whole thing. mess of uh, bluefish fillets uh, so we'll take this to the kitchen and uh, get some uh, bluefish chowder going Coarsely chopping a medium onion. A medium jalapeno, diced but and seeded. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, three cloves of garlic minced. I always put extra garlic in everything though. Two medium pieces of celery cut into even pieces. All right, we're gonna take the corn off the cob. You, you can take a fork to hold the, the cob when you cut it. I'm just cutting four tablespoons of butter and setting it aside for later. Unsalted butter. All right, now I'm gonna chop up a quarter cup of basil. Just put that aside for the mm -hmm. end. I'm gonna cut the bloodline off of the rest of these fish and we're gonna use about two pounds of bluefish. All right, I have 10 pieces of pre-cooked bacon and I'm just gonna dice it up. All right, now we're gonna heat this to a medium low heat. And then we're gonna add the onions, garlic, and jalapenos. And we want the onions to get soft, not brown. So probably like six to eight minutes. And you just wanna add a little olive oil to the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. All right, once you're pot is heated, you're going to pour in your onions, jalapenos, and garlic. Alright, while all that's heating up, you add four tablespoons of butter. Unsalted butter. Man, this smells so good already. You see how the onions are getting the opaque color? That means they're about ready for the, the next step. All right, now um, I'm gonna add 32 ounces of seafood stock. So turn that up a little bit, probably nine. And then at the same time, we'll add the potatoes. Let that boil together. When the potatoes are soft enough, you want to squish them against the side. Just a few of them, not, not all of them. It helps thicken the, the chowder. All right, once we're done with the potatoes, we're gonna lower it down about a three. Add the bluefish and cook that for about five minutes. Down a little bit and then cook that for about five minutes on low. Go ahead. Right after you've cooked the fish for five minutes, you want to add your bacon, celery, corn, and then um, 
salt and pepper to taste. We did a, a teaspoon and a half of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And again, it's, it's to taste, it's whatever you guys like. Then you mix it all up and let that cook on low for about 10 minutes or so. All right, now we're gonna lower it to about one and slowly stir in about one and a half cups of heavy cream. And this is gonna thicken it just like the potatoes did. Okay, now you're gonna add the basil. It's a quarter cup. All right, once you've let everything cook for about 10 minutes, it's ready to go. Scoop it out. Oh man, this smells so good. I can't wait to eat this. All right, here we go. Eat a little bit of everything. It's delicious. It is no joke. It's ever since Kim made it the first time, I'm in love with it. It's got that nice seafood flavor and you know, the bacon and the, everything just, it comes together real well. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, we'll see you out on the water. Bye.